In today's video, I'll be giving you a basic tutorial of the Kingmaster video editor. I'll be going over all the basics that you need to know so that way after this video, you can start editing your videos. I will be doing this tutorial on my iPad, but don't worry, it's going to be the same experience whether you're on iPhone, Android, etc. So that's just my preference of what I edit my videos on. So let's jump into this. To start, you're just going to click the plus button to start creating our video and then choose your aspect ratio which 16 by 9 is the YouTube format. This will bring you into the video editor. Now looking at this it looks super complex and confusing but really it is not. Uh, to start just ignore every single setting except this square box right up here. That's where the majority of the video editing and changing stuff takes place. All this stuff on the side is just there. So to start, you're just going to click media and this is going to give you access to all your media that you want to import. So I have this video editing tutorial. So I'm going to click on those. And as I click on them, it automatically is going to add them to the timeline down here. So I already just have the videos added there. And just for a side note, so you don't think I'm weird and crazy, you can see that I'm holding a flip phone in all of these videos. The reason why is because I did a challenge where I tried to take cinematic photos on a flip phone. Uh, so if you're wondering why on earth is he holding a flip phone, it's because that's why. Uh, which I'll leave a link to that in the description if you want to watch it. But we're here for a tutorial, so let's get back to that. So if you want to rearrange your video clips, simply hold down on the clip. And then you can move it on the timeline to wherever you want. Just drop it and there you go, it's been moved. If for some reason you made a mistake and you actually don't want the clip there, or you accidentally deleted one of the videos, you can click the back button in the top left corner and that'll actually reverse the action that you just did. That's like the only button you have to pay attention to on the side there, but yes, now the action is reversed. So to trim a clip, you're just gonna click on that video and then you're gonna click trim slash split. So what you can do is line up the playhead to where you want the clip to start, then just click trim to left of playhead. And then if you want to cut off the end, line it up and then click trim to right of playhead. And there you go. You've just trimmed your clip. And as we are here, if we click the back button, we'll see that we have access to all our video settings by simply clicking on a video clip. So let's go through some of these. You got pan and zoom. So if you need to crop in on a video, you can click this equals button, zoom in to wherever you want, click the check mark, and there you've cropped your video in. You also have access to filters. So if you want to apply a fun little filter or color to your video, you can. And then down here is adjustments, which is where you can control the brightness, contrast, and also saturation, or in other words, the color of your video. Now there are some other things in here, but they're not necessarily very important for basic video editing. So we're not gonna worry about those at this time. Now let's get into layers. So on that side, if you click layer, it's gonna pop up all these different things that you can add to your video. So for example, text, if we click on that, we can type in text here. And that text is going to be added to our video. Now we can grab it, move it around anywhere we want. And then on the right side, we also have access to all the settings for this text. For example, we can choose the font type, uh, the color, if we want there to be any kind of animation with it, uh, glow, shadow, background to our text, etc. You can also trim the text and move it by simply grabbing it, moving it anywhere in your timeline. You can extend it or shorten it uh, just by grabbing it and extending the edges of that clip. We can also click layers and add media. So for example here, we can actually add a video of me over the top of another video of me. And so now there's two videos playing on the timeline. You can move it around. You can apply all these different effects as well. You could do a split screen so that way you have two videos going at once uh, or you could just have a little square if you want again all these settings are here for adding videos photos over the top of other videos and photos uh, so I'm not gonna really explain all these because a lot of them are pretty straightforward 
And we're actually just going to delete this, which you can do by just clicking the trash can on the left side, and there it goes. Now, if you want to add transitions in between your videos, you'll notice in between these clips, there's that plus button. If you simply click that, you can add different transitions. There's a whole bunch to choose from here. Some of them are paid, some of them are free, but that is where you would add transitions to your videos. The rec button is going to record uh, audio. So if you want to do a voiceover over the top of your video, you can click rec. Uh, otherwise, there's the audio button. If you want to add music to your videos, that is the button you'll click, and then you could just drag the audio into your timeline and have access to it. And that's really all you need to know. Cutting and trimming clips, adding text, adding some music, maybe putting the photo over the top of a video. That's all you really need to know to get started editing with this app. Please give this video a like if you found it helpful to you. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.